How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some eerie and mysterious events that remain unsolved. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. The Wangong Chang explosion was a series of eerie and mysterious events that led to a gigantic explosion in Beijing, China in May of 1626. The catastrophic blast is said to have released a similar amount of energy to the Hiroshima bombing in World War II. It killed an estimated 20,000 people. The exact cause is still unknown. An official publication released at the time titled Official Notice of Heavenly Calamity provides us with the most detailed examples of what happened that day. The blast went off supposedly between 9 and 11 in the morning. The sky was initially clear, but there was a massive roar followed by a rumble that shook houses several miles away to their core. The shockwave reached the southwest and it was soon accompanied by clouds of black smoke and dust. Then a bright streak of light shone through the sky before the bang was heard, and everything within 1.2 miles of the local Wangong Chang arsenal was reduced to ashes. The arsenal was the epicenter of the blast, and the hole made where the arsenal once stood was 21 feet deep. Human bodies were blown apart, shattered roof tiles rained down like clay shrapnel. The clouds over the epicenter blast were reported to have strange colours and to resemble messy strands of silk. Others reported that the clouds looked like a giant black mushroom. The nearby Forbidden City was undergoing some renovations at the time the blast went off. It's reported that up to 2,000 workers were shaken off the roof and plummeted to their deaths. The reigning emperor, Zhu Yu Zhao, was having breakfast when the explosion rocked the palace. Fear and confusion took hold as servants and workers rushed about in a panic. A single guard escorted the emperor to safety. However, moments later, the guard was struck by a falling tile and killed instantly. The emperor's only heir, seven-month-old crown prince Zhu Zhong, sadly died during the incident. Those who survived the blast reported seeing debris of rock and timber, with animal parts and chunks of human raining from the sky for hours. The bodies of the victims found near the blast site were said to be naked, with their clothes inexplicably stripped off. The Chinese Ming Dynasty was facing several domestic crisis situations, and this disaster was seen as a sign that the Ming Dynasty had lost the Mandate of Heaven. With constant fights with the Manchurians to the north and internal revolt within its own political party, the Ming Dynasty would soon fall. This would be one of the first nails in its coffin. To this day, no one definitively knows what happened that day in China. Some believe that because the blast originated in the town's armory, that gunpowder caused the explosion. However, gunpowder doesn't account for the blast's sheer size and energy output. Other theories include natural gas explosion, volcanic eruption, and meteorite impact. Some scholars have even put forth the explanation that it was somehow a nuclear explosion. Further still, some believe that aliens played a part in causing the catastrophic blast. Still, with all these theories and years of modern scientific scrutiny, the Wangong Chang explosion remains a complete mystery. In January 2016, two hikers set off into the Catskill Mountains in New York State. It's a vast wilderness area with long walking trails teeming with wildlife. The two hikers came upon a cave network and decided to explore it. Before long, they noticed a strange leafy altar with a wooden doll placed on top. According to the photos which were shared on Reddit, the doll stands at about a foot tall with a small proportionate noose around its neck. Several nails are smashed into the doll's eyes. One of the hikers wanted to leave it be, but the other couldn't resist carrying such a mysterious object back out of the woods. After taking it back to his house, the hiker went to bed for the night. However, it wasn't long until strange happenings began to occur. He reported peculiar noises that would constantly wake him up. His dog would bark at random intervals. Eventually, the hiker woke up to find muddy footprints tracked throughout his home. 
He began triple checking the doors and windows to ensure that nobody could get in while he was asleep. Although there weren't any visual signs of a break-in, it was obvious that something was stalking his home. Eventually, he would find the statue constantly moving from room to room without explanation. One day as he approached the statue, he heard raspy breathing as if an elderly man was struggling for air. Thankfully, after posting their story and updates on Reddit, they were able to find a man who collects haunted objects. He offered to pay for shipping in order to add it to his eclectic room of spooky items. Would you risk taking home such an object? And what would you do if you had it in your possession? Let me know in the comments section below. The Meng Zhao Go encounter was related to a UFO sighting in Heilongjiang, China. The name is derived from the name of the man who first saw the UFO. The incident took place in a forest known as the Forest of Red Flags. It was 1994, and Meng Zhao Go was with a relative when they noticed a white shining object descend into the nearby forest. At first, the men believed it was a weather balloon, but what would unfold would prove to be far more mysterious. After approaching the object, it began to make a shrieking noise. The men reported that it made their skin feel numb. After the incident, they notified local forest officials. Up to 30 workers, including Meng, returned to the spot where the strange craft was spotted. Several of the workers witnessed Meng fall to his knees in a strange trance, unresponsive. He was rushed back to a nearby shelter to be examined by doctors. It was here that Meng did a handstand and crashed into the makeshift shelter, knocking it over. The doctor claims that when they examined Meng with a stethoscope, it was repelled by some unseen energy. It was like two negative sides of a magnet creating a barrier. Once Meng Zhao Go went home, he claims he was constantly haunted by beings he couldn't see. One night, he vanished from his bed. Meng Zhao Go's wife said that all of the windows and doors were locked tight, so there was no way anyone could have come in and taken him by force. The following morning, Meng was discovered wandering around in nothing but his underwear. During this missing period of time, Meng claims he was abducted by strange beings from another world. Once on the spaceship, Meng Zhao Go said he was shown photos of areas of Jupiter, which the beings claimed was their home. The female aliens were especially fond of him and forced him into having physical relations with them multiple times, despite his reluctance. His unlikely tale was investigated by the Wuhan University's UFO Enthusiasts Club, and while they support the idea of the initial encounter, they're unsure of Meng Zhao Go's tale of abduction. To this day, the incident remains a mystery. American sculptor Jim Sanborn created what would be known as Kryptos. This is an impressive sculpture dedicated to the Central Intelligence Agency of the United States. Situated on the grounds of the CIA in sunny Langley, Virginia, it was originally placed there on the 3rd of November 1990. The original cost of the sculpture was $250,000. The word Kryptos comes from the Greek word for hidden, and the idea behind this sculpture is to illustrate the CIA's talent at gathering information both en masse and on small scales. There's been great speculation about the sculpture mostly because Jim Sanborn placed cryptic riddles within the artwork that has taken decades to figure out. There are four puzzles in total embedded into the sculpture. All of them have been solved except for one, which remains a mystery to this day. Amateur and professional crypto analysts alike have been racking their brains in order to deduce the meaning behind the messages. To this day, it remains one of the most well-known unbroken codes in the entire world. All of the characters are found within the standard English Latin alphabet. The rumor is that the ex-CIA director, William Webster, was told the solution during the inauguration of the sculpture. But Jim Sanborn went on air for an interview and revealed that he had only given part of the solution away to Webster. In 2020, Jim Sanborn said that he would auction off the solution to the final riddle after he dies. So are you up for the challenge? Perhaps you could be the one to solve the final riddle and crack the code. Before we take a look at one of Sweden's most macabre unsolved crimes, remember to hit that subscribe button, then give that little bell there a tickle. 
That way you'll be notified when we upload our scary and mysterious videos. Also, remember to smash that like button if you're enjoying our content. In the Atlas area of Stockholm, Sweden, a terrifying crime took place that has left investigators puzzled for decades. On May 4th, 1932, sex worker Lily Lindstrom was found murdered in her apartment. Detectives noted that Lindstrom's body had been completely drained of blood, despite the crime scene being strangely clean. A gravy ladle was discovered nearby, which led some investigators to speculate that it had been used to drink blood. The macabre details of the case spread quickly through the media, and the killer was dubbed the Atlas Vampire. The murderer was very tidy with their work, there was a distinct lack of blood splatter, and no notable pricks over the body. There was some DNA evidence that could have been related to the case, however the technology of the time was inadequate to process the information. Sadly, this is a common theme throughout history. It allowed criminals to frequently escape punishment for their crimes. The Stockholm Museum of Policing has an exhibition all about the murder and the vampiric theory behind it. Although there have been many theories put forward to the motivation and the means, by far the most popular of them all is the notion that the poor girl was taken advantage of, not simply for her body, but for her blood. So could the Atlas Vampire be real? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. If you want to see some more eerie historical events, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, this playlist here is chock full of mysteries for you to enjoy. Leave us a comment down below or follow our other socials. There's links in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.